Hey everybody, welcome to a fun and exciting tutorial on taking your models out of EVE Online and importing them into 3D Studio Max uh, for use in animations so you can add them to pretty much whatever you want to do with them. You can make uh, wallpapers like this or uh, you know you can do pretty much whatever you want with them. So let's dive right in and get started here. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need is a program called Try Exporter. This is Try Exporter right here. And to get Try Exporter, what you could do is you could go here to evefiles.com and in the file search, just type in Try Exporter and click Search. Now, the first thing that you're going to become that you're going to come up with are all these files here, and you're going to pick the Try Exporter 2009.zip. When you click on that, just follow the download link and download uh, Try Exporter. It'll um, come as a .zip file. Just extract it and run the exe right out of the zip file. Once you're in Try Exporter, it's going to ask you to set your Eve folder. So go ahead and just set the Eve folder. And then once you've done that, you'll have the Res folder come up. We open the Res folder. We're going to open the DX9 model and ship folders. And for this tutorial, we're just going to be using the Orca because, first of all, I really like the Orca. So, anyways, um, all of your ships are going to be listed in here, and they're all kind of um, split up, sort of easy to find. Um, like, uh, let's see, GC1 would uh, is probably Galente Cruiser. Uh, GBC is uh, Battle Battle Carrier. Or battle cruiser, whatever. Um, GF would be Galente frigate. So you can kind of see how they're they're broken up. Um, if we go to the OR folder, and we go to Orca, and here's our Orca right here. These are all of the files for the Orca. The ones that we're gonna mainly interested in are right he here. The Orca.gr2. So we double click that, and that brings up just a plain model with nothing on it. And what we're looking for next is this top texture right here, Orca D.DDS. And you might have to try all these different textures until you get the right one. But the way you're going to know that it's the right one is when you double click it, you just click, 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 click until you get this error message that says that there's no more free texture slots. Just hit OK. But the way that I know that this is the right texture is because it filled up the entire model. Um, so once we've got that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to export it. So we want to export try model, and we're going to pick a folder. We're going to you can make a new folder somewhere where it's going to be easy to find. And you're going to change this to 3ds files, so uh, for use in 3D Studio Max. You see, I've already saved it orca.3ds, but you could go ahead, you can name it whatever you want, and just uh, save it. Okay. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our folder where we've just saved it. So we've got Orca 3DS, and this is what you should have. You should have Orca.3DS, and you should have the texture Orca uh, D.DDS. Now here's where you're going to need another utility. You're going to need the NVIDIA DDS utilities, and I'll link it in the description of the video so that you can easily find it, or you can just Google search uh, NVIDIA DDS utilities, and it'll take you to the NVIDIA website where you can download uh, the program. It's free. Once you've downloaded it and installed it, you're going to bring up the dialog so that you open with and you're going to choose default program and you're going to browse to the NVIDIA Corporation folder. Once in the NVIDIA Corporation folder you're going to have DDS utilities and you're going to run it with this program right here, readdxt.exe. So you can double click it to run the program, it'll automatically run and it breaks this texture down into a bunch of different uh, image files. We're only going to be using this one, so we can take all these other ones here and we can delete them because we don't need them. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Photoshop, or you can even use uh, GIMP, which is uh, Google's free version of Photoshop, uh, and it works pretty well. So let's see here. And then we're going to take our TGA file, and we're just going to drag and drop it right into Photoshop. Now, what we're doing here is we're preparing the texture for use in. 3D Studio Max. If we don't do this, um, the texture is not going to go onto the model correctly. What we need to do is we need to image, image rotation, and flip vertical. Then just file, 
save. Now the texture is all set to be imported into 3D Studio Max, but we're going to do one more thing because um, we want our ship lights, the little dots of light on the ship. And those are actually on here, but they're kind of hidden. They're in the alpha channel. So we're going to go to our channels panel and we're going to delete the all the red, green, and blue channels. So we're just going to be left with the alpha channel. And you can kind of see here, oh, that's where our ship lights are. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this entire uh, image, hit Control A, select everything, Control C will copy everything, and Control N will bring up the new project dialog. We want it 1024 by 1024, and the color mode we want RGB color. I'm going to hit OK. And then what we could do is we could just paste that right in there. Now I'm going to open up my layer style options, and I want to do a color overlay and change this to multiply. And what this is going to let us do is this lets us change the color of our lights. So let's see what kind of color we want to go for here on our lights. Let's do kind of like a, a bright orange, dark yellowish color. That looks kind of, yeah, that looks kind of cool there. So just hit OK. OK. And then what we're going to do is we're File, Save As, and we're going to save this as a PNG file. So if we come here, select PNG, and um, put it in the right folder. Let's name it lights.png. Click save. And we click OK. All right. Now we're done in Photoshop. So we could close all that out. Um, leave that open for the time being. Now we're going to go into 3D Studio Max. And... Um, I've got mine set up so I just have two viewports. Uh, you can do that by going here to viewport configuration and uh, under the layout tab you can select it any way that you want. Um, but what we're going to do now is import our model. So we want to go to our folder where we've kept our model and we're going to pick 3D Studio Max and open and OK. Oh, turn them change this to smooth and highlights because the wireframe isn't going to show up All right, and then what I'll do is I'll just rotate this so that it's facing the right way you can see that I have this window here is the front window so I'm just going to switch this around so that the front of the ship is looking at me there we go and there we go okay now we are ready to um, import our texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to press M and bring up the material dialog. And we're going to click on the little eyedropper here and we're just going to click on the ship. And then we're going to change all of these colors here to black. So black, 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 and black. Okay, and then we're going to take our TGA file, which is right here. And we're just going to drag and drop it right onto the sphere here. And then we're going to change our shader parameters to metal. And we're going to change the ambient and diffuse to black. And then we're going to click this little check mark here where it says self illumination color. Click that and change the, this value to white. And then we're going to click the little square right next to that. Click bitmap. And find our lights.png file. Lights.png and click open. Now we just take this entire texture and just drag and drop it right on to the model here. Now we can close this and if we render this out here. Click render. And you can see there we have it. We've got our ship model all textured with the uh, ship lights that color that we made them. So now you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. You can uh, just render out images by by you know setting the model up in uh, positions that you want it for you know whatever image you're gonna be doing to animating it and putting it into After Effects and you know making movies to you know pretty much whatever else you want to do. 
So uh, that's pretty much it, and thanks for watching.